Hello guys, my name is Marcelo and welcome back to Learning with Marcelo Master Piggy. This video I will be teaching you guys a new verb in Japanese and I will be telling you guys how you can create the four different uh, forms that we have for the verb that are very important for you to uh, create your own sentences. Okay, I'm talking about the Jishoke, which is the dictionary form. Uh, important for you to search the words and also it's our tamego which means uh, friendly talk you know when you're talking to friends uh, you're gonna be using the jishoke then the second one is masuke which is the opposite of uh, tamego when you wanna sound polite you need to use maso so to talk to your boss to talk to your teacher you do need to, to know how to 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 say the masuke the naike is the third one is the negative form and the last one is the teke which is our imperative imperative form okay uh, so very important for you guys to give instructions and follow instructions okay in Japanese so today's verb is gonna be this one okay guys so today's lesson we're gonna be learning the verb kaeru kaeru which is an irregular verb and the meaning is to return, to go back, or to go home, okay? The kanji is this one, which is kae, and then we have the hiragana ru to make it the verb, okay? So we're gonna be changing that uh, for masunai and te, uh, changing the r colon. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, the r, uh, the dictionary form first, kaeru. So for example, kyo hayaku kaeru. Kyo hayaku kaeru. Uh, meaning I'm gonna go home uh, early. Ne hayaku is early today, so you can say this to your coworkers at work most likely. Uh, ne like to your friends, let's say, because uh, it's a dictionary form, so it's a very um, friendly form. If it's someone uh, that you're not very uh, close to, um, you can say kairi masu ne to make it polite. Kyo hayaku kairi masu. Like for example, to your boss, you can say "kyo hayaku kairimasu." Um, but yeah, meaning like, "Oh, I'm gonna leave early today." Now I'm gonna leave early. Okay, hayaku kairimasu. Good. Uh, next one is our masuke. So kairimasu, ne? The R here ru becomes ri, ne? Kairimasu. For example, densha de kairimasu. Densha de kairimasu. Densha de kairimasu. Uh, meaning I go home or I go back or I return na, I, by train. So densha de, na, by train, by car, by bus. Na. Densha de kuruma de basu de kairimasu. Okay. Uh, next one is uh, the negative form nai. So the R ru becomes ra. Kaira nai. Kairanai. Okay? For example, Hitori de kairanai de kudasai. Ne? Please don't go ne? home or please don't go back. Hitori de. By yourself. Ne? Hitori de means by yourself. Alone. Ne? Alone. Uh, let's say it's a dangerous uh, city ne? or a dangerous uh, place where you are. So you can you can say that. Please uh, don't go home by yourself. Ne? Hitori de kairanai de kudasai. Abunai desu kara. It's dangerous. Abunai. Okay. The next one is the teke, the imperative form. So, kaete. So, the ru here, uh, we're going to do it like a, a small te. So, uh, kaete. So, you have a pause when you're pronouncing it. Okay. Kaete. So, hayaku kaete kudasai. Hayaku kaete kudasai. Ne? Uh, meaning, come back home early. Ne? Come, come home early. Okay, don't stay too long at work or don't go anywhere else. Go, come straight home. Hayaku kaite kudasai. Okay, or it also could be your boss telling you go home early. Né? Uh, it, it can vary, I guess. Okay, guys, so this was the lesson for today. I hope you guys liked it and see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.